Hi Pisces, this is a uh, general timeless message for you. That's basically what you need to know. So if you're someone rising or Venus is in the sign Pisces, then these messages are for you, okay? I have a sale happening right now. The link is in the description box below on how to save 15% off all October. It's my birthday month. I'm trying to spoil everyone as well as spoiling myself. Okay, so link in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn on your bell post notifications, okay? So let's get into it, Pisces. I do feel as though you are, it's like you're missing someone or someone's missing you. I feel as though you're feeling very vulnerable. Like you or someone else needs a lot of reassurance right now. I feel as though you want cuddles. Like I really feel as though you're looking at your phone and you're missing someone or you're thinking about whether or not to reach out, okay? So there's that happening. I also feel as though you're trying to like convince someone or seduce someone like i feel so i don't know if this is just like a job interview and you're trying to like get a job or it's like you're trying to convince someone to like take you back or it's like your partner is away on a trip or you're away and you're trying to keep them like i just feel so you're sending like sexy like text messages um you know kind of like cheeky like i'm thinking of you with like a little winky face i don't know i just feel as though there is you know a, an interaction taking place right now like whatever anyways that's just what i'm picking up on intuitively let's see the energy surrounding pisces at this time i'm picking up on nice and slow okay interesting so i don't know if you're listening to like slow jams like i just feel so you're really like just feeling yourself it's, it's feeling a little it's feeling a little sensual okay so pisces please energy surrounding pisces so at the bottom of the deck, we have the um, strength card in reverse. Yeah, you feel as though you're feeling very vulnerable right now. Someone is reaching out to you. It could be a, uh, a Leo placement that really misses you a lot. We got the, um, the high priestess in reverse. So I don't know if you're missing... Uh, I don't know if you uh, are missing someone that you are still like very much attracted to. You might have been in a relationship with this person. You may have even like been married to this person or thought about getting married. Maybe you live together. There's mention here of like lo the law keeping you guys together or like you guys were, I don't like legally binded or something. Okay, I feel so you moved. I feel so you moved out. You traveled, you left somewhere or someone left you. I feel as though you're not seeing the benefit in this new opportunity in this new chapter in your life i feel as though there is mention here of ambition motivation drive coming to you very soon but i feel so you have to get yourself out of this rut out of this mentality a lot of you are spending your times overthinking doubting things feeling very sad feeling very nostalgic a lot of you miss the past you're missing someone from the past you're missing how things used to be and i feel as though this is distracting you from your new purpose okay there's a new blessing taking place and the universe doesn't want you to keep crying over the past okay i do understand there may be this like fire sign or this 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 uh scorpio even on your mind but i feel as though like they can't really give you what you want i feel as though they might have shown you that they're just not as consistent as you are or maybe you need more time to heal okay and you have some things to figure out okay i do feel as though someone is going to be very kind to you or you're going to see opportunities opening up for you because i do see mention here of like good karma so as long as you keep being transparent with other people about where you are at, what your intentions are, I feel so this could not go wrong for you. But then with the strength card in reverse and then the ten of cups, oh, so I don't know if you're missing family or you have some family drama that you're dealing with or there is family issues that you need to like heal from. I feel so we're feeling overwhelmed when it comes to our upbringing. Some of you are understanding more uh, your views towards marriage, your views towards a family dynamic because of your own family dynamic that you experienced growing up. Uh, maybe there is someone getting a divorce here, whether you're getting a divorce, your parents are getting a divorce, or they have been divorced. So there's mention here of us feeling very like, it's like you're hopeless romantic, but you're feeling kind of lost right now. You know, you're feeling really defeated when it comes to love, when it comes to, again, a family unit or your home situation, your family, like your personal life. There's something there that it feels like we're feeling unstable. We're not feeling safe. OK, we need to remember our resilience. We need to remember that we overcome everything. We need to remember that everything, all the strength we are seeking is already within ourselves because I feel so you're really doubting like this. I feel so, again, with the Leo, you wanted to build with this person, but they're not ready and you're making and it's making you feel as though you are worthless. But that's not even the truth. OK, just because someone's not able to build with you and give you the family that you want and we're seeking, even if 
kids weren't involved like i feel so we need to understand the fact that we need to free ourselves okay a lot of things that you've been suppressing are coming out and i feel so a lot of you have just been ignoring just how much your intuition has been speaking to you ignoring all of these feelings of insecurities any type of uns unstableness that you've been experiencing you've been trying to sweep it under the rug especially if you've been dealing with an air sign a gemini libra especially or an aquarius and i feel as though you feel a lot of mixed feelings about how you want to approach the situation a lot of you are going to decide to move on to keep it pushing a lot of you will decide to go on a trip a lot of you will decide to move out or move away instead okay there's mention here of greener pastures i feel as though the future is bright but you may not be able to see that just yet i'm also feeling as though writing things down and talking out loud like affirmations is going to help you like very much build and manifest i'm also getting mentioned here of connections being very important whether it is uh work connections i don't know if you want to start a new business i don't know if it's your friends okay but let your friends and family help you at this time i don't care if it's just advice i don't care if you need to stay at their place for a bit if you need to have them come over, if you need to hang out with them, uh, if you want to just bounce like ideas with them, like I think it's just very important for you to be around other people right now that are like minded, people that are going to support you and inspire you. Because right now, whenever you feel that wave of motivation, Pisces, you need to ride that wave. You understand? Now is not the time to be getting lost in the sauce now is not the time to be lost in you know fantasy world and just sleeping your day away <laughs> i know you don't want to hear that pisces because you're a dreamer you don't you you love to sleep you love to uh you know tap out and just kind of just live in your head you know with, with you know various creative endeavors with video games uh music movies all that stuff but i'm just telling you the real world needs you your physical life needs you you need to um, get your shit together, what I'm saying, okay? Let me pull some um, Moonology cards to see what else uh, the cards have to say for you, and then we'll also ask your angels of love what they need to know, okay? But don't let this Leo or this whoever the person that you've been trying to get like energy from, attention from, don't let them determine your worth, okay? Even if this is like a father figure, it could also be a mother figure, but I feel so you're yearning for something, you're yearning for someone, and you're looking you're looking for it in all the wrong places. Okay, let's see what else the Pisces need to know, please. I'm trying to keep these readings under 10 minutes. Nothing will come out of this situation. You and your loved ones are safe, okay? So any, again, any family drama, any family issues, they are going to resolve themselves. It is not your job to fix anyone. It is not your job to parent anyone other than you yourself and your own children if you have any, okay? But nothing will come out of the situation. That means whatever you're doing, we got to adjust a little bit. We have your hard work is paying off. I do feel as though Capricorn season is going to be a breath of fresh air for a lot of you. What else do we have? We have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Guess what? This is the Pisces card. Okay, so this is specifically for you, Pisces. This is what I'm saying. You have to balance spirituality, so your intuition, your, you know, your visualization, your manifestation, all that stuff. And you have to balance practicality, which is the real physical work world, which is doing the work, which is applying to your dream job, which, which, which is, you know, leaving that toxic situation that is draining your energy uh or that friend that's draining your energy you know what i'm saying okay so let me see you know some love messages for you because i just feel like you're feeling stuck right now and there's so much more that you could be doing so that you don't feel stuck but you're just not doing it it's that simple okay let's see what do we need for pisces please love messages for pisces at this time please so this is for a relationship or in a situation ship, whatever you have going on. Pisces, please. Message for Pisces. Love message for Pisces. We have past life relationship. Okay, a lot of you are dealing with someone that you have known before in a past life. And that's why you have an instant connection. You can't really explain why you're so attached to this person. It feels like you've known each other forever. This is someone from your past life. We have trust. This situation is calling you to have faith. So whatever you have going on in your love life, you need to have faith. We have forgiving and learning. There's so much healing that needs to take place. As you heal and release the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This is exactly what I was saying earlier about you guys mourning the past, focusing on what you cannot change, and keeping that from you moving forwards and having fun with your new stage in your life, okay? 
Next up, we have the flirt card. And this is just about having some fun, not being so serious all the time. Eye contact, smiling, okay? Flirting doesn't have to be sexual. But again, you're flirting with someone. Like, you're texting someone, you're DMing someone, and you are flirting, okay? I don't even know if you even want them, but especially if this is your past life, like, relationship, I feel as though you're, like, flirting with them or they're flirting with you, whatever. It gotta be mutual. We have two cards that fell. One says, within the next few months, I can't see the other one because it's flipped over. So I feel so there's a surprise coming for you, coming to you, coming your way in the next few months. Your angels don't want to reveal it just yet. We have think it over and we have not the right time. And then we have within one year. Okay, so I feel so right now is not the right time to do something you've been wanting to do. We have to rethink this. Rethink your approach. Rethink your plan. Rethink what you truly want. Is this something you're truly wanting to fight for? Because I feel so a lot of you are missing your past and you're trying to recreate your past because you miss it so much because you haven't healed from it. And your angels are saying, wait a minute, is this even what you want? Because thinking about it, this is not even what you want. You understand? Okay, so think it over. Okay, I'm guided to end your reading here. I wish you all the best and yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.